You know, once in a while you hear from people that really overstep what they need to do to really better other people. And I think Ron Barron is one of those people. Uh, today on CNBC, the man who doesn't speak a lot, doesn't speak that often, but when he does, he moves um, people. And today he's moved me. Talking about Tesla on CNBC today, Ron Barron says he thinks Tesla is a four to seven X in the next five years time. And he thinks SpaceX is a $500 billion company. Let's talk why and what this means for Tesla specifically outside of just stock price. Because whenever you hear from Ron Barron, there's a degree of just calmness that he brings. I don't know what it is, and let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with this, but every time I hear Ron Barron so eloquently speak on Tesla-related topics, there's just an ease that goes through my head, not as a copium or a, you know as a stockholder, but just even as an intellect. The way he processes the billionaire investor, the way that he processes, um, is something that you know I try to pick up on, and I try to at least I try to. You know, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna be like Ron Barron one day, right? Maybe, but I think we can all learn something from someone. And from Ron Barron, what I learn is clear, logical thinking. Now, Ron Barron, CNBC, you know, they really try to bait him, right? They try to ask him all these questions and about about the strikes and you know what he thinks about Musk and all this stuff. And of course, Walter Isaacson's biography of Elon Musk is officially out. Um, which by the way, I, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let the dust settle. Everyone's posting headlines about it. I'm, I'm gonna get my enough feed from it, but I'm gonna order and I've actually have slated some time to read it later after I digest all the news that's been coming out from it. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you've ordered it. And I, I think some people in the Juju Gang on Discord are also posting the books that they've gotten already. So anyways, but Ron Barron, just the clear, eloquent thinking that he has. One key tidbit that he gives today is he says the Model 2 will come out by 2025. That's what he said today. And I'm not saying he has insider information, but come on, he has insider information. He's not trading on it per se, but to, to say Ron Barron doesn't know more intimately about Tesla related details than the average Joe Schmo, the average Yashu on YouTube, Come on, let's let let's not kid ourselves here. Ron Barron knows something, and we know that with Mexico getting delayed, Austin is going to be ramping up this Model Two line, and of course the timeline falls right into what we're expected. But again, it's one thing to hear it from Elon. No offense, Elon time, but there's another thing to hear from Ron Barron, who is quite specific but also conservative with, with the way that he talks about Tesla. Um, I recommend everyone go watch that interview in full. Um, I think it's about 10 minutes long. But every time Ron Barron comes on, clear, eloquently thinking, he's excited about Tesla. He's also excited about SpaceX quite a bit, and he thinks it's gonna be worth $500 billion. But every time he speaks, I think there's a degree of, of confidence that kind of gets painted for me on Tesla and the way and where they're headed. Uh, amidst all the storm, as you guys know, with the biography coming out, every single headline has been negative for Elon. You know, he did this to help Russia with SpaceX. He did this. People are taking stuff out of context in the biography. Listen, Elon is a human. People forget this. I mean, what he's accomplished and what he continues to accomplish is insane. But at the end of the day, he is still human. He makes mistakes. He does what he needs to do to cope. Everyone's like this. And if you have no sympathy for people, especially someone that's trying to move mountains quite literally and 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 make do with what he has. And, you know, I, I just don't see how you don't have sympathy for a guy like that. And you, you're not in, so awe-inspired by someone like Elon and what he's accomplishing. Um, you know, I say, I say, I said it when Elon acquired Twitter and he, and I was like, Twitter is a, God is a goddamn mess right now. But I bet you in a year's time, we're gonna be looking back like, wow, the amount of executive decisions the guys made is nuts. And look what happened. 60, 70% of the of the staff cut, um, you know, albeit advertising money is not back yet, but eventually it will be. Uh, the man makes executive decisions world-class. There's no question about it. And so again, I think there's something to be learned from everyone. Some things can be, some more things can be learned from some people than other people. But from Ron Barron this morning, I'm learning that if you think clearly, logically, and decisively on Tesla, 
uh, it is one of the rare opportunities that we have to invest in someone like Elon and to invest in what we're seeing like day to day today, even sitting in this car and FSD updates, not that I have it, but FSD updates that happen across fleets and, and FSD coming out hopefully by the end of the year. Uh, it's just exciting time. Forget about stocks for a second. It's just an exciting time to be alive. Um, Chat GPT, I know it seems like it's overblown with half half the people, but half the people in the world don't even know about Chat GPT. I'm not even kidding you. Yesterday, I ran to someone, I told them, just throw into Chat GPT, and they said, What is Chat GPT? They had no idea. And they're in their 40s. So I'm telling you, the, the, the opportunity in the world is vast. And we're still in the early innings of what will be a very exciting technological revolution with FSD, with robots, with SpaceX with missions to Mars. It's just an exciting time to be alive. Hit the like on your way out, hit subscribe. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Tesla Talks.